Oh, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, uh, 10, 20, plus 1, pl uh, 7, plus 2, necrotic. All right, so 21, 31, 38, by 1. You, sl you slice, well, no, no, he doesn't, because you slice him through and cut him in half. He was at 39 HP, you literally did one more than what you needed. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I, when I thought you meant by by one, I thought he survived by one. No, like, he oh died by one. God. He died by one. Anyways. I'm going to move over here and go for my second attack. <laughs> you can uh, actually wait. If you go right down, uh, you get advantage. Or... Oh, no. Damn it. Stream cut out again. It fucking split. I hate that. I freaking hate that. <sighs> Fuck. For everyone watching. That one. Yeah, yeah. For everyone watching, we apologize. I hate this too. Trust me, I hate this too. <sighs> Roll dang. Uh, just. You knock yourself prone. You knock yourself prone. You just knock yourself prone. I'm not getting even gonna. Yeah, you just knock yourself prone. Uh, anyways. Well, then I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get up and yep. then I'm gonna. Bonus action. Attack. Yep, that's smart. <sighs> uh, Excuse me. Take that minus five off. Okay. Uh, yeah. 22. 22 hit. Yep. yep. You, you failed to climb the... Uh, <laughs> that hits, yeah, that hits. Climb up on the table and you fell. Seven radiant, okay. Uh, he's she's still up. She's uh, we're gonna... Uh, point for your blows. Uh, uh, womp, womp. Your real yeah, no, Those won't miss you punch, but your fists are hurting on the armor. Eh. Anyways, uh... Say that was your turn. I'm... I am. I would go. I'm probably gonna go down if I get hit again. So I am going to uh, use two sorcerer points, a bonus action, cure wounds at sixth level because I have not used my sixth level spell slot. Smart. Do it. <laughs> that is thirty extra points of healing. Thank. Good. God. All right. Main action. Go. Hang on. Give me a sec. And then I'm gonna try and go. Is he, he's he, facing me, right? He. Yeah, he's facing you. Okay. Oh God damn it. <sighs> Ow. Nothing bad happens, don't worry. In this worry. last stretch, okay. it, was, it was just like, hey. Second attack. Yep, second attack. 25, 25 hits. You might want a high level to my survive. 13. Yes, absolutely. Actually, I, can, I have one more fourth level spell slot to do this. That's another 20, uh, 32 points of radiant damage. Okay, one second. You did 13. How much radiant? Uh, 32 points of radiant damage. He is so close. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not. Oh, Top of the round, it. Tartarus, it's your turn. But he, Eat him out of here with your stick. He called, <laughs> and he pissed. Yeah. And he's pissed he pissed at this. Quit your bitching. <laughs> no, the window's open. A slight chill came through. Yep. That's a 28. That hits. It's immediately right, cold. Right, Roll see. damage. Praise the... Uh, 27, 35 points of damage. Roll second attack. Oh my god, oh, those bastards too. <laughs> they have a lot of health, man. I, I... Just misses. <laughs> I re. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Anyways, uh, it's right, honest you, turn. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going, I'm going to use my bonus action to uh, bite him. Go to a headbutt. Alright, yeah. go. Do it. <laughs> that oh. misses. Sorry, man. Oh, damn, it. damn it. You know, maybe it's for the best. I don't think biting a rotting corpse is the best type. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I was going to flavor it as a headbutt. Yeah, I, I would have allowed it. Anyways, it's on his turn. Roll that d6. Yeah. He knows better nope. to not eh, eat that she much. Right <laughs> yep. She will be flanking with Bridget. She'll fly down and just... She'll try and just attack. Alright. Attack of the companions! <laughs> Yep, we go. Just roll it. Oh, now you just see an edge in there. 25. That hits. Roll damage. How much? 12 piercing damage. Okay. 12. Second attack. She only gets one. Never mind then. Uh, that's your honest turn. Rasmira, your go. Oh, boy. And you are flanking with me. Yeah. You are, I so you're... Advantage. Ow. That hits. Yeah, one second, don't bother. Wait for me to finish, because you killed him. You slice his, you slice his body, you do a slice through his back, cutting through his spine, he falls over, destroyed. 
It's worth doing, by the way, that the bodies, the, body up as the bodies, as soon as they fall, they turn to dust and fade. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna move over here, and yep, then I do this. Yep, go, do it. And then I do the seven to that guy. Do you, all right? Would you like to divine smite? Uh, sure. Okay, this might decide. But undead, it. So you might. do extra. Yeah, you might, second level. It might. You might end it here. I ain't gonna lie. This might actually be enough to kill him. Go oh, do shit. it. So I have. To, so I actually have to roll an extra d something. Yeah. yeah. Extra. Uh, second level. That's an extra two d eight. Yeah, extra two d eight. Yeah. Okay. This might decide it. Huh. I'm... Nope. He's still up. Probably piss poor on my divine you smite the damage. Yep. Get to it. You're fine. Yeah. Kevin, it's your go along with Bridget's. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> just, I know. Just, I know you guys want it to end. Just don't worry. You're so close. These are, they are literally on their last legs. I'm gonna firebolt so this bastard. Time. Okay, roll fireball attack. All right. Unfortunately, you don't get the archery thing for that, so it's a 19, so that just I mean, misses. Fine. That just misses. Right. You only get one fireball, dude. You only get one fireball. It's a spell action. Yeah, it's a spell action, not an attack action. Yeah, it's, the, it's the Death Knights. Kill oh, Bridget. Him. Look, everyone gets one. I will, gets one. I will flavor it. <laughs> I will flavor it. Saying that he was, he could have turned to Ana, so I'll allow that natural twenty, even though I shouldn't, just because I'm being nice. Yeah. Just we want this Fifteen. With. No, because I, because logically he would have turned to Ana, so. Fifteen. That's true. Yeah, like logically he would have turned to Ana. All right, second attack, go. Uh, Kevin. Who's that? Who's Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin. You have a second attack with Bridget. I, I do? Yes, remember, she has All two right. attacks. That misses, though. So, uh, it is now... Oh, no, 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 the, the, no, no, it's the, uh, the top one hits. It's 23. Oh, yeah, then that hits, yeah, my bad. I didn't see yeah, the top it one. It accidentally twice. rolled twice. I only saw, yeah, my, yeah. My anyways, uh, it, he's still right. up, he's still up. Anyways, um, it's now the Death Knight's turn. This one's gonna attack you, Eloquin. That's a 15. Makes sense. That's a 15, so I know 15. that misses. Uh, misses. That's a 27. I know that hits. You suffer 10 points of slashing damage. That does hit. Alright. 28. 11 more points of damage. <laughs> this one's going to attack you, Rasmir, because I didn't like the radiant. It, that's oh, a 30 to hit you. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like the annoying 7 damage. Alright, anyways, but I will proc next turn. So. Alrighty, so real quick, that is going to be six points of slashing damage plus nine. One second, nine, sixteen, eighteen points of necrotic damage, cut down half to nine. Second attack, that's a twenty-three to hit you. Okay, what's the necrotic? After the reduction, nine. Nine. Yep. Anyways, that's a twenty-three to hit you. Yeah, that hits. Okay. 12 points of slashing damage, plus... 8, 13, 15 points of damage. 15 points of damage cut down half to... 7. And then final attack. Ow. That is a 19. That misses. Okay. If that's the case, then... Uh, that's the... Eloquent, it's your turn. Motherfucker. Do uh, it! Seriously, you might actually have. Do I wanna. Do it! Oh, if that's the case, then I'm not even gonna add that. I'm just gonna go for it. 24 hits. Please. Please be a one. Please be a natural one. No, it's doing the strength thing again. God damn it. Once... I'm doing this. Yeah, okay, so one I second. I actually didn't notice. When did it start doing that? I don't know. But god dang it, this is so annoying. Scroll up to my last time I rolled. Don't worry about it. <sighs> Three. There, re-roll. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh. Re-roll. Re 
Uh, the re-roll the two attacks. Just be. Oh wait, one second. Before you do, I gotta change the damage two decks. There we go. There, do it. Thirty hits and twenty-nine hits. Roll damage. Seventeen. Roll again. All right, seventeen. All right, oh, seventeen. Did, twenty-two. Did, so. Twenty-two. Thirty-eight. I will do monk attack. Wait, before you do, you slice him in twain, and he falls over and turns to dust. here and do my monk attacks okay go do it this might end it this might end it 28 hits 20. eight is that your turn all right key point key point just 24, 24 hit 24 <laughs> hits uh, all right so as you do you spinning roundhouse kick him and break and cleave his head off as he turns to ash oh you tricked norris that guy it's finally over <laughs> Yay, combats! <laughs> oh, hang on, I gotta and do then, it. And then, out of nowhere, McTiamon <laughs> comes out. No. Anyways, uh, congrats! I combat's know. over. Oh boy. Uh, yay! Oh boy! <sighs> I did not think that would take that long. Oh they are tough opponents, man. Anyways, would you guys like to investigate the room? Yes. And or the corpse yes. of Vanessa. Alright, roll investigation. Yes. Well, let's do that. I'm gonna investigate the corpse. I have 23. Nat 20. Kevin, you I was find... gonna say. Go ahead. Taurus will give the corpse a stab. Fair just enough. to make sure that she is not playing dead. Okay. She is very much dead. She is very much dead. She ain't playing dead. Anyways. I mean, I cleaved her in two, so. Yep, it's Can fine. I set her body on fire? Not yet. We still got an invest investigation. Investigate the body first, which you did. So, one second. First off, Tythel, you find some books in here of assorted topics. Uh, you find a scroll of counterspell, and you find about in the dust in the chest. You find about uh, 15, 1,500 gold, so about a thousand five hundred. I'll split it among y'all. Yep, Jacob. Somehow you find enough. You find several spell components, including two diamonds that you can use for revivify. So you have to use the revivify now, and you find a journal. Uh, what does the journal say? Uh, you always get 250 gold, by the way. Any sort of odd language. I'm going to share it with you. And I will read it. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, hey, real quick. story time. Before Ooh. you start reading it, uh, Charters will take a peek down the, uh, down the staircase. Vials. I thought we'll be, we'll be there. Vials are okay. chemic substances. Uh, several crystals scattered around. If you want to see what they are, roll a, um... Arcana check. Uh, okay, I'm more specifically looking for the child that they took. Oh, they took that out of the village. Dude, that was... That, they took them with Demetrius. They're not there. Uh, okay. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, she heading to Thul now. Anyways. Well, the capital of Thul. Uh, anyways. Uh, Vanessa's... Re Lady Vanessa's research notes. The powder of the soul has has been one that I have never underestimated. While the flesh is weak and so easily fallen, the soul possesses untapped power that most beings will never be able to utilize. Not in ability of the self, but rather in the limitations of mor morals of most society. A weakness not shared by Thule or nor Demetrius. My husband's manipulation of the Lich has been nothing short of masterful. Using his lesser revenge to our purposes has worked far better than expected. Our Emperor sees this as nothing more than revenge against the changeling as well as a potential way to gain a new form of immortality a limited view the souls if harsh correctly in the crystal can make this world more adaptable to beings such as ourselves regardless the issue of this remains what best sacrifice is using souls for that damn crystal whereas the other leaders of towns have leaned towards using the older or the strongest my findings at least lead me to to send the youngest. The soul, to my knowledge, is stronger when the mortal body is younger, not withered by age, and the ties to the flesh is at its strongest. To remove the ties, if given the proper time and care, could lead to more agreeable results. An argument could be made that in these times, a quant quality should take a bad seat to, quality to quantity, but those who argue that are blinded by the short term. For our plans to work, both are important, and the quality will only serve to make the internal night live up to its name. Weeks of sending the children to the capital have gone by, and from the reports, it appears my thesis is right. The souls that have been usable have mostly been from the younger categories, as well as the older souls have not been 
a great source of power in the crystal. The citizens have made no active resistance to the eloquent tribute. They know their place. I have taken a majority of the children in the village with a few remaining, but considering the results, I must plan to start I must plan to start to lessen the tribute amount, limiting it to one or two a week, as opposed to the five we have been doing. Quality over quantity, after all. Most also consider using the teenage pop population as well well not as desirable as children they are still stronger souls in purity than their parents work on modifying the soul crystal if reports are to be believed has been going more smoothly than expected the emperor has been too distracted by his fears and hatred to keep an eye on the development and thus given demetrius's men opportunities that would have previously been unavailable to them truly the changeling is to thank for the future we seek to create perhaps it would be fitting to make sure he is alive long enough to see the fruits of his choices but that would be simply be more pity a long gain of life that should have been extinguished long ago. That's where it ends. Ah, uh, well, I uh, I would share that with the group. Mm -hmm. It's in the journal, by the way, if anyone wants to read it themselves. Yeah, I just read through it. I was reading through it as you read it. Mm -hmm. So they're funneling... So, uh, so uh, out of game, they're funneling... Oh, technically in game, too. They're funneling souls into, I called it. into crystals. Mm-hmm. Using the souls to power the thing that's making the blo uh, that's blocking out the sun, and they're also modifying it. <laughs> yep. Eternal night. Yep. Yep, they're modifying it so it could cover damn the entire world. Yep. Have that. And a lich and a vampire lord to fight. <laughs> yep. And a lich. And apparently, probably at the same time. Also, Eloquin, you do take note about like no, that last passage, which was about be, you. It wouldn't be at the same time. No, because that, you would die. You would just die. Anyways, plus you know. Oh yeah, one balancing reasons, but two, Demetrius wouldn't want that. Exactly. Second, Eloquin, you notice that uh, freaking. Um, uh. Uh, the last passage does make reference to you. Yeah, Weirdly. Yeah. Got that. <laughs> well, who wants to go downstairs? <laughs> okay, to save time, there's just alchemic vials and crystals scattered around. Okay, Some cool. research notes. Okay, uh, if you have vials of alchemic substances, then you don't know what they do. Some potions, you don't know what they do. Anyways, um... Can we roll an Arcana check, at least, or throw anything in there? Sure. Like, either the potions. I assume we cool. can assume that the crystals cool. are... Uh... I suck at this, but I'll roll anyway. You don't yes. know. You don't know. Other people uh, we, were the only two that, we were the only two that went down there, so... Yep. Uh, you don't know. I brought it back up, though, so... <sighs> Alex, I'm assuming after this, we're going to be getting a long, long rest, aren't we? I mean, you have a room at the end, so that's up to you. I'm heal. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, gonna I heal. We'll the, I think we'll take that long I would rest. Like to heal. All right. Uh, no, you, I'm gonna cast. Thank you for those lay on hands myself. earlier. So real quick, um, for the and sake. Thank of, you for the shield. <laughs> yeah, anyways, so real quick, um, you guys go to back to the inn. The townsfolk, you managed to hide from the townsfolk. Body. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, well, we will make sure that we burn her damn you, body. Oh, you burn the body. Oh, it's, I burn her body. I it, cast firebolt on that bitch. It's burned. Don't I cast worry. firebolt on that bitch too. It's burned. Don't worry, if it's on fire. Honestly, since you're Honestly, not really going, just tied it to a tree. One second, since you're not really doing cow control, the house is burning. The villagers look on, so they're too distracted to notice you. Rosalind was making her Thank way you. up the mountain to join you guys, but it appears she joined too late. Uh, the rest are at the inn. You guys have enough rooms to sleep. Rasmira. Oh, speaking of uh, that, what was that roll about earlier? To see how long it would take uh, freaking one of them to join you. But you beat them oh. before that. God, what do you want from me now? As you slumber, you awaken in a white void. In a white void? Yep. White void? What is this? One second. Uh, what? Oh, I'm coming. Is this oh. something? Oh. Uh, one second, let me just change the map back to the standard. And they're sitting by a fire. 
Weirdly, I might add, because it doesn't seem hot or cold in here, is an older man standing much smaller than you, about 5'7", hunched over, frail, very frail. You don't know who this is, but out of game. This is, yeah, this is who you see. Oh, look. Look at who it is. Long oh, white boy. hair with a long white beard and tattered robes. He looks disheveled. I'll just view his picture through. Are you okay, sir? Yeah. No, not really. I've been okay in quite some time. Please sit. She's looking around the white void and is like, uh... As you look behind him, uh, you notice that a chair, a, a rock has appeared for you to sit on. She's kind of bamboozled, but she sits down anyway. <laughs> Inej is with you, by the way. She's petting Inej. It's not often I meet a being such as yourself. I, I'm missing a lot of context here, sir. I'm, I'm quick to assume that he summoned me here. A detour on your return back home. Think of it nothing more than the curiosities of a dying old man. Though I suppose man is not the correct term. It works all the same. I got it. We have never met, nor were we ever supposed to meet. But recent events have moved beyond the tides of fate and destiny, so here we sit. You met a part of me. Someone I cared for deeply, and failed all the same. Isabel? She had so much promise. But I had to make sure that she had the ability to choose. She chose she chose something that damned her. But she but I do not regret giving her the choice. I'm sure you disagree. She could have been so much more. She had to choose to be that. I could not make it for her. To do so would betray everything I believed in. And what do you be truly believe in? Choice. Gods, the most powerful gods, are denied that. We are simply stagnant. We are what we are. We cannot deviate from the path. We cannot go beyond the path. All there is for us is the path. To mortality, choice is everything, even if it's inconsequential. As simple as choosing what hand to eat with, it is still a choice that is denied to us gods. For mortality to truly thrive, for it to truly succeed, choice must be present. Unbiased, unfair. You have come a long way from what you were. Resmira, former goddess of order. But I was a goddess of order? A long time ago, long, long time ago.
And now you're simply Rasmira. Mortal. So much less powerful, but so much better than what you were. At least in my very subjective opinion. did I become this? You were struck down by your being of great power. But it is not easy to kill gods. I am dying. I will fade. But not at the rate that my killer hoped I would. When you fell, you simply split into many forms. Each one a piece of you. You are the whole. You are the prime. Then, to become who I was again, I have to gather every, each and every piece of myself, if Perhaps. Correct. I'm not sure. That is definitely one theory that could happen, but it appears that they no longer exist. When you accepted the vision from talk, you broke through many barriers of yourself. Those ones that you experienced that were very much alive are gone. They are a part of you. Did you not feel an extreme overwhelming emotion, many overwhelming emotions at the end? That was them I... joining you. There's only one thing missing for me. It will be your choice what you become. You could choose to be what you were, or you can choose to stay mortal, to live a long, happy life until you move on. What comes next, I know not. It is simply your choice. Who do you want to be? That's a question that cannot be simply answered. A wise response. But a choice will have to be made. Unfortunately. No. Never unfortunately. Never take for granted choice. Even in the most dire situations, and in the most impossible task, the freedom of choice is one that should never be rejected, never overlooked. To choose is to truly mean that you are alive. To truly- What about you? I am dying. I will fade. It is as simple as that. I provide very little. I set those on the path that I feel is best for this world, but it's ultimately up to them to choose it. I am simply no more than a witness whose time is nearing his end. That is all I am. So you've taken the choice to just let yourself go? I have had a good existence. I was there at the beginning. I was the beginning. I have seen many civilizations rise and fall, many worlds thrive and destroyed. I have seen many things. If it, it is my time to go, creation will not end with me. It will simply move past. That is all I am. 
To fear one's end is to fear the unknown. I do not know if I will exist beyond this, if I am simply to fade, to never think, to never feel again, or if I will exist in a new form. But I do not shy away from it. It is simply what is. Wisdom that I can pass on to you before you depart, before you return to wherever you may return to. The road ahead, it will always be difficult and it will never end. But never take for granted those who you travel alongside with it. And never forget the gift that is choice. He gives you a warm smile. I'm glad to have finally met you, Orke. And I you. And with that, you fade back to your world. And that is where we're going to end the session. <laughs>